Hey family, what's good? This is your girl, I am the Bronze Goddess, and this video is unlike any other video that I've done before. So I know that if you look at the title, the title says Motivation, you're like, I've seen her motivational videos before. Aha, aha, you ever seen this one, okay? Normally when I come to you guys with a video like this, I am encouraging, I am just things are going great, and I'm positive, and I'm upbeat, and I am still that. However, yesterday was a rough, rough day for your girl. Like, no lie. Um, something really, something bad happened to me yesterday, and tears were shed. And I immediately had a knee-jerk reaction. I was like, I'm going to handle the situation just like this. Talked to my husband about it. My husband, you know, gave me the thumbs up. I was like, I'm going to handle it like this. And I was I was feeling fine about that. And then when my husband and I were in the car, after we had discussed the situation, I felt the spirit of the Lord say to me, but you didn't ask me. You asked your husband. You made up your mind, but you didn't ask me. And, and he was saying, you always do that. You always make a decision. Make a mess. And then want me to help you after you've made a mess. Why don't you ask me? And it just really, it really kind of resonated with me. Because I, I feel like in some things in my life, I've taken the long way. When I could have been taking a shortcut, but I, you know how, I'm just trying to, you know, encourage you guys out there because I know it's good to have your mama to talk to and your friends and your, and your best girlfriend and your man to talk to and people hit me up all the time with my strawberry letters and things like that. But you have to realize you got to talk to God. You can't have these knee jerk reactions and then get mad at God when things don't work. God didn't tell you to get with that dude. Y yes, that dude, that him him. God didn't tell you to get with that dude. You didn't pray about that dude. You got with that dude. And when it wasn't working out with that dude, then you want to come to God. God didn't tell you to get that house. But you got the house. And then things didn't work out. Then you want to go to God. It's like you ask everybody else. You ask the real estate agent. You ask the bank. You ask this one. You ask everybody else for their opinion. But you're not asking God. And then when things don't work out, you get mad at God like he told you to do that. And so... When I, when I realized what was going on, I said, Lord, forgive me. I didn't mean to have a knee-jerk reaction. And I didn't mean to just, you know, do what I want to do and didn't ask you. And I was like, Father, forgive me for asking my husband and asking everybody else. I talked to my mom about it. I talked to my husband about it. I thought about it. But all this before I even stopped to pray and say, God, what would you have me do? My, let me tell you this really quickly. There's been times in my in my life I've made a mess in my life. Made a mess over here, made a mess over there. And I can't be mad at God because I wasn't consulting him. I didn't go to God till it was falling apart. Then I was like, oh, Lord, I need your help. Father, please. Well, Father, where art thou? But I should have been coming to him first as soon as something happens. As soon as it happens. Father, what would you have me do? Father, make my... Make my decision clear. And when you do give me help me with my decision, Father, give me a peace about the decision. Anyway, I just want to say that really quickly for you guys out there. Just a really quick uh, word of encouragement. When, when things go wrong, your first instinct is to do what you want to do. To have a knee-jerk reaction. Somebody cut you off in traffic, you want to flip them off. Somebody, something going on your job, you want to do this. Your mate do this, you want to get a divorce. You can't do that. You, have, you can't just make reactions and then expect God to... I mean, He will if you ask Him to. But th you, you know, things will be so much easier if you just ask Him first. You know what I'm saying? Ask, why don't you just consult Him? Father, what would you have me do? Before you talk to your girlfriends, talk to God. Because see, God knows... He knows the beginning and the end. So of course He knows what's going on in the middle. So he knows if, if I give you the, I know you want the car. I know you want the car. I know you want the house. I know you want the man. I know you want those things now. But if you wait just a few, just wait a little bit longer, you're going to get this instead. He knows those things. So you're like, well, I got the money. I guess I might as well buy a house. I got the money. I might as well do this. I, I might as well go ahead and get with this dude because he looked like he's the best cash. I, I'm going to find at my age with, with everything, with all my baggage. And then you go around settling. You're going to make these knee-jerk reactions. If you're dating, 
Pray about that dude. Don't just go throughout this long relationship before you even ask God, what do you think of him? Is this who you have for me? Your girlfriend think he's a catch. Your mama think he's a catch. Nana loves him. Is God, is this who you have for me? Father, is this the house? Is it time for me to get this house right now? Because you know I'm going to lose my job in six months. So, you see, that's the thing. People don't realize if God ain't giving it to you, it ain't because he doesn't love you. Let me, let me give you another quick illustri illustration. I love my daughters. And my, my older daughter, Fiona Victoria, I love that girl. And if I had my way, I would give her everything she wants. But I, kn I know what's best for her. I know she loves candy. And if she asks me for candy, I want to give her candy. But I know candy's no good for her. I'll give it to her in moderations. I'm not doing it because I want to be mean. It's because I know what's best. Candies lead to cavities and all. I understand that. I've been tooth fairy for like 13 years. My point is, God ain't not giving it. He's not depriving you of this thing because he doesn't love you. He's not giving you a man right now because he doesn't love you. Or the house because he doesn't love you. Or that job because he doesn't love you. He knows what's best. Yeah, that dude might look like, he might look like a diamond, but he might just be shiny glass. Anywho, let me stop if I mess around the bridge, okay? <laughs> I love you guys so much, and this video is different from any other video because it, that I've ever done before because of the fact that I'm not past my situation. I'm in the middle of it. It's not resolved, but I'm so sure that God is going to bless me and bless me huge. And that he's letting me go through this for a reason. That there is a reason for this time. For it is good for me that I have been afflicted. For it is good for me. I know I'm going to say that. I'm so sure I'll make this video in the middle. And I'll praise him now. Even if I don't see a reason. Because I'm that sure.